okay so it is june 15th tomorrow i get my second pfizer shot for covid um we did not have a good experience last time last time sucked the balls um so tomorrow i get it at 1 p.m hopefully i feel a bit better than last time i don't know they always say they say these horrible things where it was like it's worse the second one is worse the second one is worse the second one is worse i'm really sleep deprived <laughs> here's my plan being well rested today last time i wasn't i was kind of groggy tired i want to be like okay um i do have to wake up really early tomorrow to take my cat to get um a spaying i have to get up at 7 a.m get her ready for that and then i get my pfizer shot at one and then we have to pick her up at 3 p.m to come home so tonight i have to do a lot of stuff a lot of prep but me and my baby are basically going to be sick together um so tomorrow i have to drink at least one thing of water i think last time i drank like four three things of water um but so this time at least one i don't know if two helped me but i need to at least take one and i need to pee before i get it secondly loose clothes i'm going to not even wear a bra i'm not wearing a bra you can't make me wear a bra <laughs> because i'm not doing it i felt like i was suffocating last time i was like oh my god my bra hurts so much when i get home i'm going to continue to hydrate and i'm going to ice the shot area because i cannot deal with that pain anymore or ever yet also i'm going to take ibuprofen if i need it like immediately if i need it because like last time i was trying not to because some people were saying or that like it hindered it a little bit um because your body needs to kind of like ward it off <sighs> but this time bitch i'm taking ibuprofen <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it's not time to go, but if I fall asleep, I want to be ready to like zoom. I have an alarm set. I'm going to drink a bunch of water before that. Oh, and I'm dressed. So I wanted something without a bra, which means dress, but also like something breezy and movie. I will say these straps are kind of tight. So maybe I'll loosen them, but this is this is what we're wearing. This is it. <laughs> Hopefully it's not as bad. But this is my outfit. I'm drinking the water. I'm gonna chill until it's time and then I'll take off my my barrette. Okay, um I'm pretty cold, so I'm taking this just in case. It's hot outside, but I don't know if it's going to be cold inside. Dude, I am having the worst panic attack. I literally took a um, anxiety pill already, and I'm just, like, freaking out. Like, I feel nauseous even just thinking about it. Like, I just feel so weird and nauseous and like scared <laughs> and i ordered food to like to bring here um amazon whole food situation and so they're coming at four to six so it's like i can't be like zonked out and we have to pick up unity at three but i'm like i'm like 100 percent freaking the fuck out <sighs> like my body is like fuck you <laughs> kind of like almost like a body trauma because like in my head i'm like you have to do it get get it done like yeah it's gonna hurt yeah we're prepared we look we're getting food we got all this done we took out the trash beforehand we we got this we're doing this okay it's been a busy week blah 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 
bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. We're going to take ibuprofen this time. We're going to be ahead of it. I, I keep telling my brain these things, but my body is just like dying inside. I got to go though because it's like 1240. <laughs> you should take your incense out of your face. I'm not shaking as much. Yes, I took some anti-anxiety medicine. I only took one though. I didn't know if I should take another one. Okay, so what's in it, Mom? Um, some Vibes Trident, um, pink, uh, tropical <coughs> mist, um, Advil, uh, Pedialyte, hydration tube, and a Burt's Bees gel cream, and some coupons. It's way better, but. I feel very uncomfortable still. <laughs> so uncomfortable. <laughs> we have eight more minutes and I have to pee so bad. Okay, COVID shot number two update. I got it. My anxiety is high um, still. Um, I was shaking a little, but it, not as bad as it was last time. I'm really tired. I'm like exhausted right now. My legs feel weird, like wobbly. My throat feels stiff and kind of like tight. Um, like just a little, you know, when you, and it feels funny. Um, again with the pinkish, uh, uh cheeks. I feel just anxious too. Like this isn't like how it was last time. Like last time I was just involuntarily shaking. Um, I'm gonna ice this, lay down for a little bit. I feel so uncomfortable in my body, by the way, like uncomfortable. You know when you like get stoned sometimes, you know, like, and you have a bad stoned period where you're like, holy fuck, why are my nails so long and why do I have so much hair? That's how I feel right now. I feel like a little far away from reality, but not too crazy amount. I just feel kind of tired and this does, like moving, it hurts. I'm gonna ice it this time, get water. I had to pee so bad, like multiple times while I was there, so. All right, all right, I'm gonna go ice things. Okay, I'm in bed. I took some ibuprofen. This is like minutes after the last update. I feel kind of funky. My arm feels like jello. I'm, I took ibuprofen because my mom was like, get ahead of it, get ahead of it. So we're icing the injection spot we have water over there I keep having to pee but also like I feel like I need to pee but nothing is coming out because like I've peed multiple times and I'm just kind of dizzy and tired I'm trying to nap. I just kind of feel exhausted right now. I'm so tired. My kitten got vaccinated today and then got um, um, her spaying done. And so like, she's asleep on the floor. And so we vaccinated sisters basically, but all the other cats can't be inside this room especially Reese because Reese messes with her the most like in a cute way but like oh my god I can't sleep because he's going crazy at the door <sighs> he's been like this for an hour
this one isn't as bad. I don't want to say that because I feel like I'm going to jinx myself. But it's almost 9. I've been asleep. All day. All day I've been asleep. I'm going to do my second round of ibuprofen. And then, I don't know, probably go back to bed. I just feel very tired. I feel very tired. Um, and then I feel kind of just groggy. Just all the things you feel when you're tired. Alright, it is 1am. Oh my god, it's 1am. Shit. I am really nauseous right now. I'm actually tired. And I want to kind of go to bed. But, I don't know. I need to get some ibuprofen in me. there and I can't move and I'll show you why okay I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the cuteness so therefore I can't move because I don't want to disturb her I've kind of disturbed her already, but she never does this. She's never like, let me cuddle. Oh no, she's moving because the dog outside is barking. Okay, maybe I can get to my ibuprofen now. I'll keep you updated. I feel, earlier I felt like really cold, like I had chills and I wanted to take a shower, like a warm shower, but I didn't, and then now I just feel kind of hot, and I turned off my fan, and she's chilling, <sighs> so we'll see how tonight goes and how tomorrow goes, me and her are sick, people, kitty, people, things, sisters, <laughs> sick together. <laughs> it's probably too loud, but it is, um, it's almost 3 a.m. and I am so hot. I think I'm running a fever. I don't know. I just feel tired. And I couldn't sleep because I was so uncomfortable. And I'm so cold. Like I feel hot. But I'm like freezing. So I'm going to get into a hot shower. And hopefully that helps. So I can sleep. Alright. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay. I kind of feel better. I'm going to um take a panic attack pill to chill me out and then I've already taken ibuprofen but maybe I'll take a sleeping pill so I can sleep I need to drink more water but every time I drink water I have to pee so I don't know I need to drink more water period um so <laughs> that is the update yay <laughs> If you'd believe it, I went outside like this. Did not give a fuck. Um, my mother got her shot today, so like, I went out like this. I keep swinging from extreme cold to extreme hot. I'm super tired and sore. I think the nausea is like, like dying down, but I still have a headache. Like, I have a migraine here. But it's 3 p.m. and I've been asleep really all day. <laughs> That's how tired I am and I'm still exhausted. I'm holding this up with my right hand um, and I got the shot in my left hand and my right hand is sore. Like my right arm is sore too so I, I've been 
downing Powerade and water. But I'm still thirsty, so I'm trying my best. Ugh, my tongue is like an epilepsy tongue. Did I have a seizure? <laughs> uh, I had a seizure. Shit. I have nocturnal seizures sometimes, um, but I guess I had one during my sleep or one of my sleeps. So I took another shower because I keep swinging from heat, like super hot to super cold. I can't regulate and it has started again he is crying Reese is crying it has started again <laughs> okay so I think we're on day two of COVID shot number two uh, it's been a rough time but also, it's been better than the first time. The first time was horrible. This time wasn't as bad. I've been sleeping a lot. And then, uh, just confusion. I think I went through this already. But I'm feeling so much better right now. It is like 12.30 a.m. I need to go to bed. Um, but I'm like, I don't know. I feel better than I did like last time and I feel better than I did this morning so hopefully tomorrow I'll feel like 100% and I can get moving on my life because literally my room is a mess I need to clean it um because I've just been like changing clothes crazily I've been like taking showers weirdly here and there so like and like when I say showers I mean like just wetting myself so I need to actually take a shower um but let me show you my room because I just have shit everywhere so I actually took dishes but they were like stacked up here <laughs> all the way up but I took them to the kitchen thankfully but like all of this mess, all of this is just like here. I hate that. Also my cat, like I said, is getting better from her neutering. So like she has her food and blankets and her um, carrier, which she's asleep in. And then her litter is on the other side of my bed. So that's a hot mess. And then over here on my bed, I kind of made like a fortress of, of clothes. Literally, I don't have much thick clothes because it's the summertime, but I kept swinging from heat, like overheating to like being super cold. Um, I have my phones, uh, a water so I didn't have to reach up, some ibuprofen, some pita chips because I was having the worst nausea. Here is the warm clothes. This is actually the Her Universe uh, Corella DeVille split pants from Hot Topic. I bought them and they were the only um, pants that I had that were thick babies like for winter so I was super happy to have them on hand because they came in so um, I've used them already and they're very comfy I think they're sold out though now um, and then here is just like a Walmart long sleeve tee and then sock I don't know where the other sock is oh here's the other sock and then this is my um, Sourpuss uh, Crazy Cat Lady hoodie sweater. Um, this is like a lounge set from Sourpuss. So yeah, it just says Cat Lady on it. So super cute. I don't, I think they still have this in stock. Highly recommend. So comfy, so sweet, so cute. 
last time I was craving milk. So this time I, I'm craving something, but I don't know what it is. It's so weird. It's like my body knows I need something, but I don't understand what I need or something is depleted in my body. And I've been drinking water. I've even had Powerades, which I don't even like the taste of Powerades anymore, which is sad because I used to love Powerade. Um, so I've had these things. It's just... It's like I'm trying to figure out what my body needs, but I don't know what it is. So, if I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. Um, but I think that's about it. 